right you are joining in progress is a 1979 Zenith System 3 model 912J147. It's a 19 inch TV. There's the manufacturer date. In really good condition, but very dirty. And right now we're in progress of cleaning it. TV itself does work just fine, but it's due for some maintenance, obviously, because it uses the infamous 9160 power sweep board. Had said it still works fine, but we're going to do preventive maintenance on it. It was dirty, but not the type of dirt you'd see if it was left in an unconditioned environment. It was very loose, linty type dirt, but very thick. So here is the CRT and cabinet internals all cleaned up, as you can see. All right, now I got the shield and the Gaussian coil back on. TV standing up. So the inside of the cabinet is now completely clean. And now it's time to start reassembly. So forgive the noise, all the ultrasonic is running and the dryer is going, but yeah, I got all the pieces cleaned up, as you can see. Now, I'm going to start uh, reassembling some things, and we're going to go through and check some other things. And one thing I forgot to mention is this TV was gifted to me by Emerson Colley several years back. Um, and it worked, again, it worked. But, uh, given its age plus the known issues with the 9160 board this is all preventative maintenance that we're going through now and i never did any tune-ups on it any adjustments it had um you know grayscale need tweaked a little bit focus maybe but starting with the capacitors yes the tv worked but here's my first cap i installed and of good reason. This has a lot of those purple Matschusta um, electrolytics. 33 microfarad is reading 43. You know, 20% uh, should only be 39 microfarad at the limit. It's over the limit. ESR is good, but it's beyond, you know, it's operating 20% uh, tolerance might have a minor effect on things. I mean, let me see, this is off of the sharpness control. So, so this, all I need to change in there was that electrolytic there. Spray some deoxid in all the controls and uh, mount it back in the TV right there. You know, another thing I like to do is in addition to spraying it on the actual wiper and contacts in there, Spray, put a drop of deoxid on the top of the shafts. If you ever have a potentiometer that might seem a little stiff to turn or you might think that's normal, just put a drop on here and then look how free you spin now, very freely. And you can actually fill the detent position much easier now. And here, so click. I think there's a detent on the sharpness too. Yep, right there, here. So yeah. And I believe um, this one right here is the black level. All right, the thing I had to do now, I'm on the tuner. Reactor diode um, had a grounding strip right here. It came, became unglued. So I just re-glued that and cleaned all the lenses. Uh, this is where the neon lamps will shine through to display the channel number. And there's the grounding uh, springs right there. Okay, I got the tuner all assembled. And that is the correct order. On Zenith, they started from the bottom. Assuming that you press channel up, you're going up in number. And also, I never touched the Varactor diode tuning on this. This was as it came, so it's like no one either said it or something. But as you can see, they all match what channel they're supposed to be on. Here it is, 
all back together again. All cleaned up. Didn't video anything there because nothing, um, it, like I said, it worked as is. This was just a cleanup and restoration in that to make it reliable. Green caps were good, red caps are bad. A lot of these were marginal, and a lot of purple Matchusta caps had to go. So, if there is a failure on this from now on, I don't want it to be a cap related and I have to pull all the boards out. I just want this thing to be reliable. The most annoying thing about these is that infamous 9 160 module. This is a 916005 revision. As you can see from that sticker in the middle of your screen. If you look on the flyback, I'm trying to see where it says. It does say it's remanufactured. And it had a remanufacturer date on a lot of components from 1980. 81, I'm sorry. 1981 on this one. These boards are very unreliable. And that's one of the things they had to do on this was to fix that. A lot of bad caps on that board. Reflowed all the solder. And uh, hopefully now it should be good. Still worked when I got it, but now it's definitely going to be reliable. Because that's what usually kills these boards. I just performed the miscellaneous adjustments in the set. Some things were a little out, but uh, got it precisely dialed in. So now I want to hook up the Sencor CR7000 to it and see how the picture tube is doing. Well, it would have helped if I put the bias control in the right position. Um, I had it set to the wrong one. I accidentally looked at the wrong. I looked at the one right above it. it won't hurt anything. It just gives a different reading. Still no cutoff, or wait, that was cutoff. This is emissions now. That looks a lot better. All right, from the first uh, clip there, I had the bias control on 132 by mistake. Put it back on 84. Now this is looking more like it. Did get a restore cycle done, but that'll clean the gun up, and it should look a lot better. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, one thing we'll do, we'll do life test on it now. See what it turns out to be. That's not too bad. Now we'll release. right back up so the green guns the weakest but we can compensate for that by doing our grayscale well it definitely made a big difference um, though I have to go back now and touch the focus up so we'll see if it really cleaned the focus up may it look better but my grayscale see now that I adjusted it correctly it was too warm looking I really had like a lack of blue and I really didn't like how it looked. Now it looks a lot better, but it's out of focus as you can see. So I'm gonna hook my uh, test patterns up to it so I can get it precise. Okay, we got it pretty good now. Now I'm gonna touch up, there's a sub black level control right there I need to turn down now. Before I had it right on, now as you see the background's lit up. All right, grayscale and black level precisely set. And it definitely looks way better. I said the, you know, grayscale was adjusted correctly before, it was way too warm and it just didn't look right. Now this looks a lot better. Interesting, interestingly, <laughs> this sticker which fell off, I was able to re-glue back on the CRT that uh, lists some quality checks on it red green blue um, and gas I'm assuming for when they put the vacuum on it 
So now we're ready to reassemble the cabinet. And now I have the ultrasonic remote all apart, which I cleaned, um, other than the circuit board, I cleaned all these pieces in the ultrasonic. This looks kind of bad, but now it looks all shiny and stuff. I noticed stuff that's very uh, well handled over the years tends to do this in the ultrasonic, but I got stuff that'll restore the look of this plastic. It's, it's no big deal. See, this is stuff, parts that weren't even touched look fine, but this looks kind of faded. It happens all the time, and I, I just, I'll fix that in a minute. But yeah, the remote was pretty nasty. But the inside was like brand new, and this is what the inside of an ultrasonic remote looks like. Frequency adjust, the range potentiometer, and they say that's the microphone. I thought that'd be technically a speaker. So I'm gonna clean it up and get it back together again. And it takes one nine volt battery. And now here is the remote all restored and polished up. Original remote to the TV, actually. So, when the door is closed, you have that. Open up, you get this. The microphone for the ultrasonic. And the one thing I did, uh, these controls, see how they're in, like the sharp, uh, the sharpness, um, the ones in the center detent position, the black level and the sharpness, that's the exact center of that pot. And that's also the exact center on the tint and color level. Um, what I try to do when I um, set this up, like, the one thing I noticed was the tent control was almost fully uh, counterclockwise to get the proper tent. I adjusted the tent uh, coil in there to get it precisely in the middle where it belongs. So, in color level, I think it's up a little bit from the center, but that wasn't adjustable. But you get the idea. The same with the black level and the sub black level control right there. You want it to be normal in the center, and then if you need to adjust, you know, you turn it from there. Contrast or picture, it's just, it's wherever your preference is. I got the brightness right where I want it to be. So you have a channel down and up button, your AFC switch. Here's the instructions right here. You can pause to read it. And the hinges on this are actually metal. Okay, so at the top you have your master power off and on switch. Uh, that has you know, keeps the memory circuits and the uh, remote circuits active. A power button directly on the TV. And the volume control here basically sets the maximum volume level on the remote. Uh, if you don't have the remote and you just power it on, it's whatever you set this to. But uh, whatever you set this to is as high as allows the volume to go with the remote. So that's how you adjust that. And to adjust the uh, reactor diode tuning, that just pops off. And you kind of get that. And then we'll go ahead and put this uh, back in snaps in place so you don't accidentally make changes to your channel selection. These are the default insert tabs for the channel numbers from the factory. I only got one TV and that's my 77 Chroma Color 2 where I actually have all the inserts including the ones that are not being used for the UHF tuner. All right, so now we're gonna demonstrate the TV. Master power switch turned on, volume preset. 
and we're going to go ahead and turn it on with the ultrasonic remote control. Or on your radio. Take the CDs with you in the car. Play them around the house. Upload them. Just open the box and enjoy over nine hours of the best music from a very special time. Of course, the liquid heater comes on. Why waste your time and money trying to find and remember all these hits? We've done it all for you. Call or order press online. Mute. I'll just uh, press channel up or down, get the idea. Now, I do have the color killer properly set, but uh, it takes like a full like half second for it to kick in, going from a color signal to a non-color. Pay attention to the colored snow for a bit when I switch channels. See, it, it, then, it, then the color killer kicks in. Then, then you just Four page unmute. And free ship. That's a total savings of thirty-one ninety-eight. So don't wait. Call now. And like I said, the volume on the remote will go up all the way to what you have that volume set to in there. Under normal operating circumstances, the door is just like that, and then you just use the remote. It's like they uh, want you to use the remote, or so than the controls behind the door, of course. But as you can see, it gets fantastic color. Good times. JJ, I was talking about Daddy. Well, now, Michael, as much as I appreciate that, I ain't no hero. You have to be no hero to catch a chump like that. No, I think, son, if you're talking about heroes, you're thinking about people like Martin Luther King or Thurgood Marshall or Matt Gavers. And James Evans Sr. Right on, right on. Come on, say dynamite. Remember, Archie. JJ. <laughs> there it is. They always made me smile. How about the old West? Where things got a little wild. We will ride to hell and back if that is what it takes. Or Walker. You boys are under arrest. He always got his man. Sometimes it's nice to reminisce. So when you want to remember the good times, we're here. Get TV. Do you come to you and ask for money? Why did you just say? A little out of concern that you might be letting yourself that you hell what's a polite way to say your thighs are starting to make noise when you walk <laughs> to your um home <gasps> this is china pride i mean we're going to be showing you that beautiful smooth stream and how much 
only one customer. Randall E. Whittemore, Claiburn Towers. Say hello to her, and then I love her. And the bonds they got the formatting all screwed up on here, and I can't change the aspect of the show. better every time I see you. And for those who don't know, this is all over the air for Yagi Antenna. Vegas, I have mounted in the, the attic. World, no one has ever put on a show like Cher. Now, my mom told me when I was like two or three years old, I used to run around the house singing naked. And I said, well, mom, nothing's changed too much. I just get paid for it now. So get ready to be... What would I do with a bird dog? Good gray skill, as you can see. But how about a sled dog? What's this? I know one of these is a movie station. I think this is it. Do you see? I don't even, that's why we got rid of cable. We don't even to sell the plan. It comes as so much available just over the air. In August 2004, this? the forensics Don't. lab contacted the police. They found a familial deep. Monday on Face the Nation, my guests include Cecilia Rouse. Come on, Mark, because I can understand anything. Hey, whatever the case, I'll go to the mat for you. Exclusive 4G out. are here. It gives us airflow all the way around the yeah, state. Yeah, that's what's about watching we TV at 3.30 a.m. Infomercial galore. You need. Vicar General of the Diocese of Greensburg. We're empty. I'm going to open the box. Cozy TV, Roseanne, what do they have? Frazier at 4 a.m. And my refrigerator is packed. Oh, this team. Channel 9 is coming out of Ohio, Steubenville. And it picks up just fine because it's actually the same as Channel 11 WPXI in Pittsburgh. Before the fire department showed up. Good man. The neighbor. The best wow, he, neighbor. He gets to borrow my lawnmower forever. Automatically avoids carpet scenario. New TV, what do we got? Canon. Washable mop pads in the laundry. A friend. Well, look, you, you feel helpless. Yeah, stupid thing. Technology, right. just pop off the canister. And the for just $99. Stop over. I think we're back where we Flex started. Pro. Com. Com. Babe, I got you. Babe. I got you, babe. As the it couple of the 70s, Sonny and Cher sang and laughed their way into our hearts. What about oh, Caesar and Cleo? I am falling in love again. I think I am falling in love. And I am falling in love with you too. Soon, it was time for Cher to break out on her own. Since I'm already fairly short, if I agree to grow a mustache, could I be a replacement for Sonny? No, nobody can be a replacement for Sonny. Take it from me. And she came out... And that one, we only... Yep, now we're back to where I started, I so... I'm telling you, check with your doctor first. But no matter who you are, if... Praying on it. Now let's put it back on, uh... Now. Good times. And with that, we're going to conclude this video by pressing off. So thanks for watching. And uh, hit like and subscribe.